So welcome to another JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to have complex conditions. So what this is is when we have more than one condition that needs to be true before we do something. So we can use the AND condition and the OR condition. So AND is where all of these conditions have to be true. They have to be correct basically in order for some code to run. And OR is when just one of them needs to be correct. Or both of them. But just one is fine. So what we're going to do is going to create an if statement like we would normally, and we're also going to do some variables first. So var one is equal to a hundred, and var two is equal to two hundred, like that. So quite simply, then we're going to go if one is equal to one hundred, and then we put these and signs. So shift and seven, you do two of them, followed by two is equal to two hundred quite simply like that. We're going to go alert and we're going to do correct. Just so you can see it works. So we're going to run this in Chrome now and you see correct. We've got that alert. And of course we can also use else statements and we'll do alert incorrect. Like that and that will still work the same. So let's have a look at all statements now. So if 1 is equal to 100 and and 2 is equal to 200 is what we currently got. So what about if we switch this out to an or statement? Now to or, it's simply this line character. I don't know what it's called. It's above the Windows key and the, win and the control key around there. Um, that's on a British keyboard anyway. I think it's the same for all countries. Um, but yeah, it's just these two lines going up. Uh, it's also on the backslash key. So this represents an OR statement in quite a few different programming languages. Uh, so only one of these needs to be true. So right now they're both true. So it's saying correct because at least one of them is true. But let's say if we change this to 300. And I've got a Java update available. Okay, so if we change this to 300, it's still correct because at least one of them is true. Now if they're both wrong and we launch that in Chrome, incorrect because neither of them are true. So this returns false and this returns false. And again, so if I have 100 there, then it's correct. So that is complex conditions in JavaScript. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, uh, please subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in the next tutorial.